Hello, hello, hello. You have right now, aka New Orleans Baby Girl, aka Beautiful Sunrise, T, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> well, of my names. <laughs> Today we're coming to you with, I'm going to call it, Overloaded Spaghetti Casserole. All right. So, I didn't have a lot of ingredients that can kind of cut down on the time. So, I'm going to have to make some stuff and add some stuff. Like, with the sauces, it's so funny. Um, we got fresh tomatoes. We have fresh onions. We have seasoned shrimp. We have smoked sausage. <clears throat> we have assorted peppers. We have Kobe Jack. Mild cheddar. And Mexican blend style. I'm also going to use the leftover Velveeta cheese or cube cheese. We also have cream cheese, butter, and of the sauces, I have the Hunt sauce. I also have the Hunt's Diced, Fire Diced, and because I didn't have no <clears throat> uh, spaghetti sauce, I'm going to use this condensed tomato soup, and I showed you earlier, I have my fresh tomatoes that's going to make some sauce, it's going to go with the sauce. So first, what we want to do, we're going to turn on the stove. Put it on about medium heat and I'm going to throw some onions in there and I might throw a little bit of coconut oil where's the coconut oil Cause we're gonna saute these smoked sausage. Um, <clears throat> it's always good to saute the smoked sausage because the smoked sausage have a good flavor when you when you saute them in the skirlet. In the skirlet, in the skirlet. All right. Uh oh. So I like to cook all my stuff some, somewhat separate because I like to get everything into its own flavoring as I add it to. And um, as you're going to see, I season um, everything separate. Like my shrimp is seasoned, my hamburger meat, Italian sausage, it's going to be, you know, seasoned separate. My smoked sausage already has it on its own season. You know. And it's onion and coconut oil to give it a nice flavoring. And coconut oil is more healthier to cook with. That's why I'm doing it that way. But I just thought about this in my head. So I said I'm going to try it. Overloaded spaghetti casserole. Sometimes when I get thoughts in my head, I just have to get them out. And being creative with cooking is one of them. I love cooking, especially when I'm cooking for someone. So, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe at the bottom. The red button at the bottom. Beautiful. Sunrise Williams. 
and you'll see new recipes from me. So, right now what we're doing is we sauteing the smoked sausage. We have it on a medium heat. We have it on a medium heat. It smells good already. And the most um, time that it's going to take, to be perfectly honest with you, the most time it takes is the prepping part. Cutting up the seasoning, cutting up the meat, you know, getting everything prepped. You know, so we can do this production. Hope you can see it real well. I try to put the camera back from the smoke so it doesn't cloud up the, the camera. And from what I can see, it looks pretty good. Alright. So, right now all we're doing is sauteing the smoked sausage. Alright. Getting the flavors in there. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. And for some reason, I just feel like um, when you sa saute the smoked sausage, first before you put it in anything it just brings the flavor out of the meat more than anything like whew, you just don't understand it brings your, your food to a whole nother level all right so looks like we're gonna go ahead and put this in the back in this container for later i don't want to burn up the skillet because we're going to throw, um, uh-oh, some hopped out. I said, I guess they said the, the skillet was getting hot in here. It jumped out the skillet. We're getting too hot. Hot. Fire like a yeah. All right. All right, so I think that is sauteed enough. We're going to remove that. All right, we're going to use the same skillet. Same skillet. Put it off to the side. Put a little butter. Butter is good. I'm going to put some butter and a little bit of coconut oil to saute my shrimp and we're not going to do the uh, shrimp for too long okay and that's just one stick of butter that we're going to use for everything because we don't need that much butter okay all right So, all right, that was that coconut oil right there. So, put that around in the skillet. I already seasoned my shrimp, and it has a little bit of lemon juice in it. So, we're going to put that off in there. And it's still on a medium heat, but I'm going to turn this down. All right, ooh, ooh, you just don't understand that smells good already. So that's our shrimp. And how we prepared our shrimp, we, uh, we peeled them. 
Well, I filled them. And um, I let them soak in some apple cider vinegar to kind of clean them. Apple cider vinegar and water. Then after I did that, I went on and um, put the lemon juice in there with the seasoning and let it just sit in the seasoning. So that gives it a nice flavor. Now, we don't need to cook all the way. So I'm just going to take it off. As you can see, just take it off the skillet and let the skillet cook it the rest of the way because we it's going to cook in the sauce so we're going to use all this juice we're going to keep all that juice so you see that let you see that up close and personal so we're going to put that back in its bowl that we took out of okay so the shrimp is done Ooh, that's so good. All right. Now this is just my my version of my spaghetti casserole. So you guys can do your own thing. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little more onion in there. Then I'm gonna put the rest of the onion you don't see over here in the skillet onto my ground beef Italian sausage. Okay. Then we're going to put a little assorted peppers. Okay. Just so. Like that. I'm going to put that on my ground beef over here too. And Italian sausage. You'll see that later. It's going to come on the stove. So, now we're going to go ahead and put the tomatoes in there. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of, just a little bit of coconut oil. And remember, coconut oil is healthy for you, so, you know, you don't even have to worry about <laughs> How much you adding, to be honest. It's not like butter and all the rest of the stuff. So we're going to add a little coconut oil, okay? Now we're going to turn this up because we need this to we need this to cook. Okay? And then we're going to add just a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright? Okay. That's what we're going to do. You just understand all this stuff that's already cooked. It smells so good over here. Like these shrimp sitting over here on the side. Smoked sausage sitting on the side. My goodness, my goodness. All right. So look how fresh and beautiful that looks. Can you see that real good? Oh, yeah. You got a good view. Okay, I put a little butter in there. So I turned it up a little bit because we're going to get this crack a lacking. Okay. So we want this to cook down and make like a sauce because that's going to be part of our sauce. Okay. Okay, we have 14 minutes. But if you want to do everything in one pot, that's more than you're more than welcome. But I just believe that when you do stuff separate, for some reason, everything does better. And then when you marry it all together, oh my God. When you get all the juices and everything out by itself, just so much better to me. But it's to each his own. It's up to you how you want to do it. It's your kitchen when you start cooking it. All right. So we got a little onions. As you can see, we got a little yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and yellow bell pepper. Onions and tomatoes. 
If you can only smell this now. And what we're doing is sauteing this down. And as you can see, it's making a sauce. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Look at here. Look at here. So, again, I did not have um, spaghetti sauce like I normally have. Okay? So, I'm kind of making my own sauce. But I'm also adding... Um, I didn't have enough spaghetti sauce. Let's say that. Because I do have some sauce over here. Like I showed you, I have uh, the tomato soup. Okay? See that? Condensed tomato soup. Then I have these fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then I have a can of tomato sauce. But it, uh, because I got a lot of meat and this is overloaded, I felt like I needed some more sauce. And I didn't have any sauce in the can, so I had some fresh tomatoes. So I said, let me hook it up. Let me hook it up. All right, look at that. Oh, I got the camera in a good position where it's not smoking out the camera like it normally does. All right. So y'all can really see this going on. Going on, going on. So what I'm going to do... While that's sitting there, you know, I'm going to turn on this back eye on low, right? Like a low. And I'm going to let this finish cooking, okay? And I'm going to get everything else started, you Yer. Yer. All right. Well, all right. So let's do this. Let's see if we can have enough room. All right. Move this over. See that? See what I did there? I'll put that on low. Okay. So as you can see, uh, let's see if I move this. Okay. All right. You kind of see both of them going. Okay. So I already put the green pepper, bell pepper, onions, and the same kind of concoction I have over there into my ground beef and Italian sausage. Okay. I don't know if you can see far. You know, you can't see right over there. I'm about to turn on that eye over there that has the uh, that has the uh, the water in there for the noodles. So let me go ahead and turn that on. Okay. Uh oh. So this is starting to cook. So let me let me take this off the eye for a minute because I want to season it. But I want you guys to see me season it. So let me just turn off the eye. Okay. So. All right, so this is my parsley. All right. This is my sage. Don't put too much sage because sage is a strong seasoning, okay? But I like the way sage has. Okay, I'm going to take this off the eye a little bit because I don't want it to start cooking. All right, so that's my sage. And, um... You can use poultry seasoning just a little bit, um, cause that has that has sage in it too, I think. All right. Um. Let's see. We're gonna do this little rosemary. I like my little rosemary. I don't know if you guys can see me seasoning. Oh yeah, you can't see me. You can still see me seasoning. I put a little rosemary in there. Rosemary gives it a good, 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 good flavor. Okay. All right. So, put it back over here. All right. Put my little Cajun season. Okay. Like so. I like to season my meat. Okay. You don't. You can put as much as garlic powder, onion powder, or fresh garlic you want in here. Because um, garlic powder and onion powder is a good thing. I'm going to put, put enough up in there. Okay. Now, I started cooking with cumin powder. Which uh, most uh, Spanish love cooking with cumin. And cumin have a lot of health benefits. 
So I put a little cumin up in there. Not that much because cumin is a, a strong seasoning. Okay, now we got an onion powder. You can put as much as you want of that in there too. And you see I have fresh onion too, so, you know. Then I'm going to put a little bit of fire like cayenne. Red peppers. I normally have my cayenne pepper. I'm out of cayenne pepper, so I'm going to put these little red peppers in there. And, um, not that much. I'm going to put a little accent. Not that much. Yeah, not that much. There we go. Now, you'll see later on, me, I normally go ahead and, let's turn this back on. I'll go ahead and add some more seasoning if I need it. You know, I don't stop until the season guys tell me to stop. You know, when they tell me that's enough trees, I'm like, okay, that's enough tea. All right. All right, season guys, I hear you. That's enough. Now, also, what you didn't see me put up in here, which is already in here, um, I put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I hope I'm saying it correctly. Worcestershire sauce, okay? I put a little bit of that in there. And I also put a little bit of apple cider vinegar, okay? All right, so let me put it on pause until we get, get everything going. All right, as you can see, it's getting, it's getting there, and I'll come back a little later when you see it's really cooking it up, okay? Because I see I'm already at 21 minutes, and I don't want to go too far over 30 minutes, okay? All right. So real quick, you can see real quick that the ground beef is coming along real good with the um, Italian sausage and the assorted peppers we have the water back there uh getting good and then you see over there you have the tomato sauce coming together real pretty good um so yeah we'll be back when we start adding everything okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and add these special peppers and so we had simmering over there on the side go ahead and add it to the pot to the pan smells good So now we're going to add this sauce. Ooh. We're going to need a top. We're going to definitely need a top. We're going to need a top. I already know. We're going to add those roasted tomatoes. Ooh. That might be more than enough sauce. Uh-oh. Ooh. Well, you know what? I might need to, yep. I'm gonna need, I like a lot of meat. Now we're gonna add that tomato soup. And that's gonna do it. All right. So, I'm definitely, whoa, whoa. Now, I'm definitely going to have to season this again because all of that stuff being added, going to need to have their own little seasoning coming in. The ground beef is going to season it, but to a certain extent. So, I'm going to have to yeah. Uh-oh, let me turn this down a little bit. And I need a top. Hear that bubbling over there? That bubbling is that uh, I have uh, a spaghetti, spaghetti on. So I don't know about y'all, but I like a little sugar in mine. And trust me, they ain't gonna be too sweet. It's gonna balance. Trust me. And putting sugar in it actually cuts your 
acidity of the sauce. So if you have any type of problems with, um, oh Lord, I was supposed to put this on so I could see how long the spaghetti was in the water boiling. But back to what I was saying with the sauce, you put a little sugar in there, like my grandma said, and what happens is it cuts the, the acid in the tomato sauce, okay? The acid in the tomato sauce, and let me take this off so you can see. The acid in tomato sauce, and also helps you with, you don't have to worry about too much acid reflux, okay? And this was a lot of tomatoes, so we need to get enough sugar in there. And trust me, everybody that knows me and had my spaghetti sauce know that it is not too sweet. It balances everything that I put in. I balance everything out. So you really, you see, you taste a sweet twang, but it's not that much. Trust me. That's a big pot. That's a big pot. So I might have some left over for just, uh -oh, just to eat some spaghetti on the side. Okay. So uh, we'll come back, show you what we're going to do with the, uh, with the pot of uh, spaghetti noodles. All right. So we didn't got the spaghetti sauce. I mean, over there on the back eye and what we're doing now is we got this on very very low I'm gonna use the same pot that I use for my spaghetti I'm putting the cream cheese and the butter okay And I don't want it to cook. So let me take this off. I don't really want it to cook. But it's still hot. So using that same spatula. I should have used the other spatula. So hold on. That's just still long to tell me. that um, my noodles are ready. All right, so we're just going to toss the spaghetti in. You want to toss the spaghetti in the cream cheese. I'll mix it up and I'm gonna turn this off because I don't need it to cook. So we're just tossing it in with uh, butter and the cream cheese, okay? Now uh, you're gonna see what we're gonna do with this later. So we're just tossing it up. And I did season uh, my pot because that was a lot of tomato sauce. And I like all my food to be seasoned. So you see what we're doing here? We're just tossing it up, trying to get it all mixed up, up into our pasta. That's the cream cheese. Okay. And while I'm at it, I guess I can throw these little few little lumps of cheese I had. Okay, gonna mix it up in there. So the pot is off. So you can see, let me let you see that. Okay. That's what we're doing. Okay, trying to get that cream cheese tossed up 
and mix into the pasta. Okay. So I think we got it enough. So we're going to just put this off to the side. Because we're going to use this later. Okay. So we got it back over here. And we just need to cook some of this juice on out of here. Because, you know, we had, like, made it from scratch. And we might need to use this juice when the cheese, you know, we might need to, we not, we might need not to cook all the juice out. Because of uh, the cheese uh, is going to bring it together. Okay. But uh, I'll put the top back on it. But I'll let the let it have a little seep hole where it can let some of the steam on out of there, the little water, evaporate the water. Now the shrimp has not yet been added because we don't want to overcook the shrimp. Okay. We got the pasta ready and everything. So I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do after this. It's gonna be good. I can't wait. And right now we're gonna let it simmer. And like I said, cook a little longer and let and let it cook all the seasoning into it. So that's what we're gonna do here. I did do a taste tester and it was really good. It's already good. Like <laughs> woo, can't wait, can't wait. The shrimp, I'm just going to add in the pan. Now um, what I will do is start the pan at 350, maybe 365. Put it at 365. And I'm going to cook this sauce for another maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So let me set the timer. And then we're going to start putting it together. Okay? So stay tuned. Oh, that looks so good. All right, it's still going strong. We got about 10 more minutes. All right, we are back. And now we turn off the pot. We actually didn't cook it for the time I was saying. We're just going to let it cook in the um, oven. So now we're about to go ahead and layer it. Y'all just don't even know. It tastes so good. These noodles by themselves taste so good. With the cream cheese. And that's like one eight ounce cream cheese. So with the cream cheese, butter, and a little bit of uh, of those cube cheeses. Velveeta. Oh my God. Alright, so we're going to layer this spaghetti. So I hope I can get at least... I always overdo it. I don't know why. I always cook too much, but... Let's see. Alright. So then... Now what we're going to do... Is we got our shredded cheese. You know... Shredded cheese. We about to add to it. In between. Remember the pasta already cooled it with cheese. Put a little bit of Colby, Colby Jack, just a little bit. That was a Mexican blend. And then we're going to top it off with, I wish I had a deeper pan, honestly. We're going to top it off with a little bit of mild cheddar. 
okay so then we can't forget your girls we can't forget your girls let's see uh oh hmm. Just drop it out throughout. Drop it like it's hot. There's only one pound of shrimp, so not a lot of shrimp. So let's kind of like, you know, hopefully spray them so you can get like a bite of shrimp, you know. All right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of pat this down because I want to get some more up in here. You know, it's kind of full. Let's see if we can pat this down. Okay. Pat this down. Get a little more sauce up in here. And um, I'm going to have to give me another pan. <laughs> I have to get another pan. I'm always overdoing it. Gosh, darn it. Mm -mm -mm. Add some pasta up in here. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I'm not going to do another pan. I'm just going to hold that sauce and do something else with it. How about that? How about that? Hold that sauce, do something else with it. Alright. So then I'm going to top it back off with some more sauce. You know? And then I'm going to put the cheese on top. So, you know. Like so. Oh, you know what? I should have put the shrimp up in there. Hold up. Hold up. Before I put the sauce. Put the little shrimp. Put the shrimp in there. Try to push it down up in there. So, remember we didn't cook the shrimp all the way, so it's going to cook the rest of the way in this concoction right here. Put it down up in there. See what I'm doing? Burying them deep. And um, <clears throat> it shouldn't take long to cook the rest of the way in the oven. It shouldn't uh, take that long to cook the rest of the way in the oven. So let me put some more sauce on the rest of it and cheese. We're going to top it off with some cheese. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all don't even know. I already know this is going to be good. Okay, okay. I hear you. I got another pan under here just in case it try to boil over. Hopefully not, but 
All right. So let me see my little, see if I can pat this down so it can stay in the pan. I hope it stays in the pan. We don't want to lose nothing. Uh -huh. cheddar oh it looked like it's overflowing <laughs> hopefully the cheese will keep it in a place this is the Mexican blend cheese Okay. All right. Let me pat that down. Covid Jack in a little places I missed the other cheeses. Okay, so as you can see, that looks good. That's my overloaded spaghetti, my overloaded spaghetti casserole. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the oven. Uh, we're going to say when the cheese melt, we hopefully say maybe 15, 20 minutes. All right. And then it'll be back out. And I'll let you see the finished product. All right, you guys. This is the finished product. It looks good. I'm going to let it sit for a while where the cheeses and, and the sauce and everything can come together. That is, this is my <laughs> spaghetti, overloaded spaghetti casserole. Um, it looks good. I can't wait to have it. I'm gonna let it sit for a good 15 minutes to let everything kind of settled in. I let it cook for 20 minutes. Um, but I didn't want it to dry all the way out, you know, because when I warm it up again, I still wanted to have some sauce. Um, when I warm it up for leftovers, but this is my spaghetti overloaded spaghetti casserole. Um, if you like the recipe, go ahead and try it. Um, let me know how it came out under the comment section and what you added, like some spinach or um, mushrooms or things that you might want to add to it to make it your own. Um, write your comments at the bottom. And this is beautiful uh, Sunrise Williams, a.k.a. New Orleans Baby Girl. Um, signing off. Uh, if you want to see more videos from me, please, please, please click the subscribe button at the bottom and um, hit the bell button and it allows you to know when I upload videos as soon as I upload them. And hopefully I can get in the hang of uh, continuing to do this um, to show you like different recipes and different ideas. And, and if you don't have everything in your kitchen, how you can use other things to, to, to get the same result. Um, like I used the tomato soup <laughs> for uh, sauce. <laughs> Same thing, you know. But some people don't think about that. Some people don't like, oh, I could use that. You know, so just different ideas that you can actually just start pulling from and just grabbing what you have, use what you got to get what you want, you know. So I'm going to let it sit for uh, 15 minutes. Thank you for uh, watching this video. I know it's pretty long, but... Thank you for watching this video and more uh, recipes to come to you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.